I've been told before that I favor Nick Cannon. Uh, I Nick don't Cannon's believe hilarious. it. I don't believe it. But <laughs> <laughs> and I only got two kids. <laughs> You're right. I think he's up to 14 now or something yeah. crazy like you are, that. You are falling behind. You're going to need to pump those numbers. I'm going to not need, need, numbers, I'm gonna not need to. I'm going to stay where I'm at, Zane. Yeah. yeah. I didn't write any lyrics yet. Oh, you didn't write any lyrics? I don't know. Flacco did. Go ahead, Flacco. Drop it. But you... <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, man, just play the drum line. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> They just said I look like Nick. Not... Yo, yo, yo. Oh, not <laughs> what is up, everyone? This is Jason over at Go Power Sports. Today we have actually updated our look out here. Uh, but this is Mini Biking Ain't Easy. It is a podcast where we talk about go karts, mini bikes, anything power sport related, motorsport related. We talk about it all. We may even talk about Lewis Hamilton going to Team Ferrari in 2025. You never know. Oh. But, uh, as always, I'm with my main man, Zane, keeping us in the lane. I got Bernie's on, on the fives. One, two, three, four, and five. He has five cameras going on right now, folks. <laughs> Literally. Put that photo up, Zane, whenever oh, it happens. You're, yeah, you're. <laughs> and we have our beloved guests, Day Day and Flacco. What's up, guys? What's up, y'all? Man, I have been avoiding talking to you guys for weeks because I have so many questions. You need to put your professor hats on. Because we have quite a bit to jump into. So for me, it's all about drag racing mini bikes this year, 2024. If you could set, if we could set it back to last year, you guys put on your own drag racing event out at Yellow Belly at Grand Prairie. What was that event called? And just walk me through that event. That was, I believe you're talking about the summer shootout. No, uh, December 10th. December 10th? 30 was degrees. It was the winter shootout. Yeah. Okay. Uh, winter shootout, pretty much the last big thing of 2023. Um, we kind of just did what we normally do, but this time it actually popped. A lot of people joined along. Um, we had a couple come from South Texas. Uh, had a few out from West Texas. Uh, a lot of the Oklahoma boys. So this, this past one was really, I wouldn't say the footprint but more or less of the okay yeah this is getting big mm -hmm. it's getting serious like we 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 got concrete now yeah we we really we we finally see all our work show off okay. all of the grinding and the yellow belly late nights and the being out there one and two bikes deep and looking crazy and being the dudes on the little funny looking little bikes well now it's like Dude, that's normal. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Everyone else's bikes are silly. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> so you didn't rent out the place. You just kind of ran in with the cars. Just popped up. But you had your own them. little side tournament going on yeah. that everyone knew what was going on. You yeah. said, so you guys then had like a race maestro out there. Yeah. Hey, Zeus. Hey, Zeus. Shout, shout, out, shout out, out to Way. Shout out to Way. Shout out way. Shout out so the way. now that you had kind of done a little taste of it, well, I'm curious, how did you guys fare? It, I guess in y'all's race, did y'all race it? We did. We did. They they, they actually <laughs> they they actually the one sent me home. What on yeah. my bike? Yeah. <laughs> oh damn! Insult to injury. I Dang. mean, it's some people would look at it like that, but I'm not gonna lie, man. Um, the uh, anybody who know me know that bike got a special place in my heart, and it was pretty cool seeing it do what I built it for. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And then they they come along with a hell of a motor, slap it on there, and it's like. Match made in heaven, and dude, he put me out, man. Yeah. I mean, if there's a bike you're gonna have to lose to, it might as well be yours. It should right? be my bike. You know <laughs> what I mean? Crazy because he he don't let anyone touch or ride nah. that bike. Nice at all. Nah. And now he's never gonna let you do it again. Nah, so. probably not. Nah. <laughs> never. We already had that conversation. Does but, that mean you won the it, whole thing? No, I didn't. Okay, so yeah, how? Yeah, tell me your journey this, through this I'm, race. I'm gonna pass the ball to him now. Yeah, so I squeezed my way up to racing was semifinals with yeah. Flacco. Um, I beat Flacco. Then I had to go against Cole Weaver. Hmm. We all know Cole Weaver. He got that big tire on that bike. Every yeah. time I see that tire, I hate it. That big booty phantom. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> like yeah. that bike. I don't know what about it. It's just super fast. Like he he got that recipe. Yeah. He, okay. he took a lot of time, investing a lot of money into it, a lot of late hours, just working on that bike, crafting his, his thing. And 
it it it, it goes to show that <laughs> he put a lot of hours into it. Yeah. But that's our boy, though. Did Cole yeah. end up taking the big prize? Yeah. Yes. So he won the Maverick. He got so Cole. Got the shout Maverick. out to Cole, man. Which is cool too, cause that's our brother. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So I know. Yeah. Yeah. I know on, on your episode, yeah. I mean, like, and yeah. he's there all the time. Yeah. We was together last night. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now, okay. So you said this was kind of like going from having one or two bikes out there on the track, and now it's turning into okay, we're 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 showing up, and we're the crowd. Yeah. It it, it started off as a couple mini bike guys going to the track, hanging out with mini bikes, to a couple mini bikes guys going to the track, being competitive amongst each other. To us, like okay. We got to organize just some kind of way because now it's just we grudge racing at the grudge race at the grudge race. Yeah. It's just like, let's 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 do so. Let's Time to set up the bracket. Yeah. Yeah. OK. So, that's so now. So now what's the scene like on a regular basis? Are you guys out there? You guys are out there Thursdays and Sundays. Yeah. Thursdays those, and Sundays. That's yeah. every day. OK. Well, people, if you want to come out <laughs> and get smoked. Yeah. yeah. Come on with it. On, I mean, man. yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. I mean? <laughs> My bike ready. Twenty dollar bill will get you a chance. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so now you've done this race. You guys have you guys have have a maestro. Yeah. You got Jesus to help you guys out. You then are planning on doing the GPS six hundred and sixty. Yeah. And if anyone doesn't know what the GPS six hundred and sixty, that's six hundred and sixty feet. Yes. And eighth we, of a mile. Yeah, eighth of a mile. We're going to be running May nineteenth, which yeah. is a Sunday. Times are tentative. After the pool star picnic, y'all throw that in there. Bam. So that whole weekend gonna be crazy. Epic. And I mean, <laughs> even that weekend, I would say, okay, so the event is, is May 18th for Pull Start Picnic, yeah. which is our mini bike best in show. You can right. bring your drag bike out there, and if it looks clean, people yeah. will vote on it. Yeah. yeah. Sign up uh in the description below. Yeah. So sure. we got May 18th a Saturday. We have May 19th, which is GPS 660, which is our mini bike drag race, our first annual that you guys are gonna be throwing on. Sign up also below. <laughs> but not even that people are encouraged to come in that thursday before go yeah. out to yellow belly and, test. and, and test. Test. test i think it's the smartest thing then come kick it with us on friday do the show on saturday, saturday. yeah race on sunday yeah. i know we, weekend i know we're gonna be out there testing yeah yeah i mean isn't it's gonna be a fun time it's gonna be a good time for everyone to get together i mean yeah. it's gonna probably be the biggest gathering of mini bikes drag racing uh, at least sure. drag racing but it's gonna be a big gathering up until probably the gps 180 yeah, yeah. so definitely... and 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 hopefully like um i don't want to say i'm negative but i don't expect the gps 180 crowd this year okay i'm just being realistic but i do see capable i do see capability of it being just as big or maybe even bigger than the 180. Right. Because you got guys like me, man. I'm One of my biggest fears is going down in the pack. I don't like falling. Yeah. I like staying up off the ground. Um, so you got guys like me who just not going to, who going to go out there and hang out, but they're not going to participate in the 180. Yeah. Not to mention my, our style of bike. Our bike's not able to run in the 180. Yeah. Just how it's set up. But you can take a bike that ran in the 180 and drag race it all day long, piece of cake. Yeah. You know what I mean? So in the end of it all, I actually see this being, like, pretty big. Man. Pretty okay. big. So now, who are, who are you guys expecting to come out? Like, what, what kind of turnout we expect? Well, you now? know, it's crazy. I'm on the live right now. And I want to give a special shout-out to Anthony Morales. So I know back home I got my Compton guys coming out. Okay. Um, spoke with Vegas. Vegas even think about coming out. Arizona, Mesa mini bikes. They're coming out. More the merrier, guys. Yeah, I'm trying to get Florida down. Trying to get Oklahoma back. Okay. Trying to get San Antonio, Houston, yeah. DFW, yeah. everywhere. Okay, Michigan, see. Detroit, Iowa, everybody. Iowa, yeah. everybody. Nebraska. Yeah. I got a Bernie. homie. I got a homie from the home state, um, Arkansas. Yeah. And so hopefully, really? hopefully we see some Razorbacks okay. out here. They, they got them in New Orleans too. Okay. And them boys bad. Yeah. Boys bad. Yeah. It was like that uh, that electric bike, right? Yeah. From the Louisiana bike. From Louisiana, yeah. yeah. But for real on Michigan, I think our Detroit boys are going to come on down yeah. and race with us. We got cars and cameras, and I don't know if Wyatt Foster out there from North Carolina, yeah. if he's going to come on Bad out. boy. Bad we boy. calling everybody to come down to the yeah. track. This yeah. is what the bad is. Too. Huh? John said he's either bringing a bike or building it the day before. For the track race. The day before is wild. John, <laughs> John's a madman, though. He is. Of course. Crazy. Yeah. He is. 
He is. But yeah, we calling everybody out to come have a good yeah. weekend. That's that's yeah. really what it's about yeah. to come enjoy yourself, see everybody have a good gathering and safe, you know, controlled areas that yeah, way. Man. You know, social media. You know, once I bring that camera out, it, it gets real. This guy. Yeah. It gets yeah. real. <laughs> he turns it, it on, man. It gets real. Turn it so, okay. Yeah, better bring your a game. That's all I'm saying. It will be so, put on candy camera. It's gonna be a lot of cameras. It's gonna be a lot of GoPros on bikes. It's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. So Bernie gonna be in your face. I'll be like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to my man, Ed is by one. That's been a guy. One really gonna be been, in your face. Look, he been promoting our stuff yeah. on TikTok when I don't have a camera, yeah. when Bernie's not there, when Flacco. So shout out to Juan. Yeah. So, yeah. One, one is a really a big part of the growth here in DFW too. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Cause I mean, he when me and when it was just me and Cole out there, one was putting us on his TikTok, and that was making none mini bike guys say, man. what? Kind of is, cool. is, he, you know I mean? is he usually out there in the pits? Oh, every night. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Every That's it, yeah. yeah. Every night. Gotcha. Shout out to Murder. Murder? Mur yeah. Murder, Murder live stream. Yeah. Okay. So. Real time. Murder nice. 2J, to be exact. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It's big. Like, yeah. yeah. We, got know, a, we got a nice little... You got a click. Yeah. yeah. You guys, there's a community. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, this is just... We can start jumping more into talking about kind of what the 660 is going to look like, but... Uh, who's the fastest right now in the eighth scene? Cole Weaver. Cole oh, Weaver. it is Cole? Yeah. Okay. Cole Weaver. Nobody gotcha. has yet to beat Cole yeah. Weaver. Cole what? Weaver just beat a Corvette last week. What? My mama made a lot of things, but she ain't make no haters. Oh, like, nice, man. You, you got to get a man his flowers, bro. Like, me and Day-Day, we not no slugs, no slouches. We got a lot of Ws, too, but... That bike vibe. Hey, one, yeah. it's, it's hard to stay out in front of him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got you. Okay. Yeah. So he, so Cole's the one to beat that. Yeah, that's yeah. my brother. Much love. Okay. I yeah. love Cole, but my I'm, goal is yeah. this. Yeah. So you got a target. <laughs> you got a target on your back, bro. I yeah. love you to death, but I'm coming for you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I would love to break it down. So now you have people hyped. They said, okay, it's an eighth mile. It's in Grand Prairie at Yellow Belly. All I need is a mini bike, but there are three classes that they can race in. Yeah. Yes. Let's go over what is going to be the most popular class that most people will be racing in. I say pool start. Okay, so that I means... Think, I think so. I don't know. Maybe not this time. It's going to be a lot of pool start bikes. bikes? Okay. I think that small block class with that starter. I don't know. I, I, I'm a more the merrier person. Okay. And the the winter shootout, dude, them pool start boys, they... The city came out. Yeah. You most know definitely. what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And and a pool star bike is kind of it's a little bit more accessible than a a, a, a modified or open or ally or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm I'm gonna take the pool star class. I'm actually hoping I got time to build a pool star bike. Yeah. So what are the three classes? Let's just we'll break them down real quick. Let me quick. go ahead and grab yeah. my sheet. But I'm gonna change my answer. No lies. Now that I thought about it, with these big engines coming to the track, I might have to go for the outlaw class. Bro. That it's, outlaw class about to be crazy woo, between big blocks and big PPMs and animals. Oh, and animals and, yeah. Okay. I hope I hope somebody. So it's gonna I'm, be a zoo out there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's I'm seeing be a lot uh, of money. I'm seeing Buddy start to trickle those uh Versa blocks. Oh yeah. So I, I imagine you see a couple verses or two yeah. out there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Um, right now we got pull start small block. Um, we got small block open class, and we got all law class. And that's just you bring what you want Whatever. and you run it. Look, yeah. as okay. long as you pass safety. It is what it is. Hey, if you have a, If you have a pull start and you feel like you can outrun a billet animal with it, <laughs> by all means. Hey, let try me, it out. Let me see. Okay. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> but let me see what you got. <laughs> yeah. So break down that top class. If we're doing a pull start. Right. So, uh, billet heads? No billet no. heads. Let me go ahead and just read the rules yeah, of what we, we got go. on the paper. So, pull start small block must be a 6.5 cast block or at least start it off as a 196, 200, 206, 212, or 225. Now, you can run a Tillerson, a Honda, a Tecumseh, flathead bricks, overhead bricks. Jang Dong. Jang Dong, whatever you want. Honda <laughs> clone, you can do okay. whatever. As long as it start off as a 6.5. <laughs> okay. Um, the maximum CCs in that class will be 236. Okay. So that's your 236 stroker kit that you can get from GPS yeah. that we sell on our website. Stroke that's the maximum. Stroke yeah. 225. Okay. Yeah. Stroke 225, basically. 
link down below. You yeah. yeah. Real talk. <laughs> Tell them they, they sent you. You feel me? Put some bitlies on there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> clean, clean, clean. You know, I'm good for that. It's going to yeah. say day day. <laughs> um, must be started with a record starter. No starter boxes allowed yeah. in that class. Meaning you must have to be able to pull a start right, your engine. Okay. It can't be, hey, let me borrow your starter box. No. It's going to be pull a start only in that class. Maybe. Um, and maybe yours is a little harder to pull than the next man's. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. But it's ways <laughs> around it to race in the class yeah. while still being allowed to be pull start. Now, yeah. would I risk it? No, I'm on. No. I ain't got no yeah. strength. <laughs> I can't pull the I'm, engine. I'm through beating my ribs yeah. up and my knuckles over yeah. here. So. Um, um, must be driven by a centrifugal, centrifugal clutch, whether it's a disc, a shoe clutch, bully, max torque, 3D, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, or a torque converter. Where there's a 30 series, a juggernaut, regular TAV, pretty much it. Um, you can run pump gas, methanol. You can put pure nitro, methanol Amp with gas. nitro. Uh, 110. Camp fuel, like Camp Black fuel, 66. Osaka, <laughs> water. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Don't <Alkaline>. worry, yeah. <laughs> Got now, the biggest thing is no billet heads allowed. Yeah. Bam. Last time, we allowed it, which was cool. You know, that's more of us. But this time we're gonna have more restrictions to it. We yeah. trying to run yeah. this class. Actually, this whole event we trying to run tip of the top. We are gonna be on a strict time schedule. Yeah. yeah. So my apologies in advance. I may be a little grumpy, but it's just me being passionate about my craft, y'all. Yeah. Keeping people on time. Yeah, yeah. we love y'all. Yeah. You know we gonna be at the track, but oh. we gotta mix in with the crowd. So last time, the track allowed us to run each class at once and get it over it. Go, you know, do our thing, come back and do it again. So yeah. shout out to Yellow Belly for that. Now the buy-in for the small box class will be fifty dollars. Okay. Five zero. Okay. With an entry fee of twenty dollars to bucks. get into the track. And that's everybody. That's yeah. everybody. Okay. That's everybody. That's, that's me. That twenty dollars is everybody. You, Everyone's be paying it together. Spectators. Y'all. Everybody. everybody. If you want to step on the track, twenty dollars and sign a waiver fee at the gate. Ten bucks behind the gate. Yep. Y'all stay in the and place. If you want to do VIP, $50. Y'all, yeah. I'm telling y'all, you want to be in the pits. Pay for the $20 admission. It's it's pretty dope. It's worth it. I it, think we got a question. You, you What's VIP? Closing? VIP is pretty much. I think it's a very important person. It's more than pits, though. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's special parking. You you can park okay. really really close to the pit. Oh, it's okay. it's very inside pits. Yeah, okay. it's very inside. <laughs> okay. Very pits. important parking. Yes, there we go. All right, so I just want to stop this. So this says a lot of people are asking no billy heads on the life. Now this is for a pull start class. Yeah, you will only be allowed to run a cast head in the pull in start the pool class. Start. You, no. you got to think about it, man. You got. In that pool, that particular pool star class, you got kids, man. You got fourteen-year-old little boys out there, who might be spending the lawn more money. You know what I mean? That they actually earned. I know this because I have customers. You know, kids they come in spending their own money. Dude, you can't expect these kids to have billet heads and 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 fire breathing. They're kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. And I'm not saying the pool star class is for kids, but you gotta kinda you gotta find a median somewhere. It's more of it's more of an entry level class for yeah. people who right. wanna like, hey, I wanna buy a bike, I found right. a bike, I've been building it up, I wanna bring it out. Yeah. Right. So now for people who are a little bit more of a tryhard. Right. Yeah. A little bit more a billy head, class. not a what you trying to say. Huh? What are you trying to say? No, no. So what I'm saying is for the <laughs> people who are more into their <laughs> No, no, no. Like, so what's the class for people who are really interested in like they they want to take the next step up. So it's two classes to that. Next we go kick it off with the small black open small block open class. Yeah. Now also six point five cast block. Um, born started. born ass. Born ass. Born now, ass. If you sleeve it, there's still restrictions to it. But y'all gotta work with me here. We are going through the rules, y'all. <laughs> Start off as a one ninety six, two hundred, two hundred six, two twelve, or two twenty five. Where there's Tillerson Honda. To come see Briggs, you can run your Predator, you can Jang Dong, Jang Dong, pressure washing motor, <laughs> you can run your Duramax, whatever you want, right? Now, in this class, the CC maximum will be 290. That's okay. the max you can go. Which is 
pretty big for a small block. That's pretty block. big. That's pretty big. That's huge for a small yeah, block. It's pretty big. And yeah. billet heads are allowed. You can print whatever head you want yeah. on this class. Okay. okay. As long as you're not over 290 cc's. All right. Okay, cool. Now, and the block cast. And the block glass. Cast, 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 block. cast, 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 block. cast, cast, yeah. That's a tricky word, cast. Block cast. Cast, cast, cast. All right. Now, this must be driven by centrifugal clutch, whether it's a bully or any style max torque shoe clutch. Now, this is the interesting thing. Yeah, you finna go there. This is the I was waiting on you to go there. Yeah. Go on. So, we here now. We letting the disc clutches run with the torque converters in this class yeah. also. But okay. you got to explain. Right. Yeah. Now, there's a limit to the torque converters. Yes. Now, if you're trying to run something such as a polar on a small block for choo -choo. this class. What's choo the other one? Choo choo. Choo choo. Polar. So big, you know, these torque converters cost $2,000. Shockwave. Shockwave clutches you will not be allowed to run in this class, unfortunately. Yeah. Now, we got a class for you. Yeah, you don't that mean you can't play, because I want to see these bikes. Yeah, I want to see these bikes. I love them all. But we try to keep this <laughs> yeah. event as fair yeah. and as neutral as possible. Yeah. yeah. It's, My, about, it's about creating a field where it's actually testing skill as well as craftsmanship. Yeah, right. most definitely. And, yeah. and really making it not a money race. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, Lewis Hamilton. For Ferrari 2025. Anyways, boys. <laughs> Anyways, back to what I'm saying. Um, must be some type of pump gas, methanol. She can run pure nitro, methanol with nitro. Yeah. If you want to run Sonaco, VP, anything, you can run all of that. Don't matter. It don't matter. Okay. If you want to run Moonshine. I'm not opposed to it. I, okay. If I you know, might run, if I you know might a guy. Run. Oh, really? I know, I know a guy. I don't know a guy. I'm from California. We don't do that. I know a guy. But okay. now, the buy-in for this class will be $100. Okay. Yeah. So you're bringing more bike. More bike. In theory, you're bringing, and you're having more competition, realistically, yeah. and it's going to be more expensive to get in there. Yeah. Which which is more reward. Yeah, but the yeah. reward will be even greater there once you, you knock it out. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is a class... I want to see because I'm hearing a lot of people are coming down to break some records. Man, say man. So it's hey, man. the record is going. So just uh, just for people in the audience, uh, it's raining here in Texas right now. So that is the sound you're going to be hearing in the background. Um, yeah. We're not just like tapping on metal or something. Yeah. So. God. So the outlaw class, this this the this the big this the big dogs right yeah. here. Okay. This the the biggest, man. the baddest. Shout out to OG Depp. That bad man. But oh yeah, you ain't met that. I don't think so. Yeah. Bernie, you met that, huh? Jason, you met that. Yeah. Sorry if I had met you. It doesn't ring a bell. Y'all right. gonna <laughs> yeah. meet that. We gonna introduce y'all to that. Yeah. That that from Houston, right? I, I like to say DFW, but kind of Alabama, but. That ours. A little bit. One ours. Yeah. That's our home. Okay. So for this class, <laughs> this is where the Billy animals, the Billy flatheads. Big blocks, dual engines, you can run it. Yeah. Okay. Now, there's a catch to it, as long as it's single piston. Yeah. Cas block and billy blocks allowed, of course. Um, must be driven by a centrifugal clutch, disc, shoe, or any torque converter. So your choo-choo, your polar, what was the other one? Uh, Choo-choo, polar, shockwave. Shockwave. Uh, That's where you're going to be competing against that other people yeah. that have the same thing. Now, okay. all the big tire bikes from Florida with the big torque converters, that's the class y'all yeah. gonna be running in. That might be the most interesting class. I might just revoke that first question. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be some I'm, savages. I, like, <laughs> I was gonna say that class, the outlaw class, sounds very similar to when they first started doing the UFC. And it was just like, hey, we're just gonna, yeah, here's a sumo Ain't wrestler no and a guy who does like kung fu. And yeah. so we're gonna see what happens. Like, I mean, yeah. you gotta think about it. You got people who put in close to 10 grand into their bikes. Or more. Or yeah. more. <laughs> or Just more. into the engine. Yeah. yeah. Like, not counting anything else yeah. they do to it. It's, yeah. it's, it's cast out there on, bro, $200 tire. Yeah. Most you definitely. Full I mean? yeah. sure. Semi racing yeah. tire. But for the buy-in, it would be $100. Yeah. Um, so the outlaw is also 100 Yeah, also 100 Okay. Um, but we go go with the rules and regulations. Now, we go be a little bit sticklers, especially me. Because we want everybody to be safe at the end of the day. Now, yeah. this is good, but we are in a dangerous sport. And important safety is important because I have personal experience of what yeah. going down would do. Last night at the track, a dude on this Harley went down that I was just talking to. I helped him 
stage in the lanes and do his whole race and everything. So yeah. safety is key. Dang, yeah, the guy go down last yeah, night. He yeah, he doing he good. He good. Yeah, I was talking to him this he morning. Got a little though. road rage, but he. I think he's from Compton too. That's the crazy part. Guys, give me one second. I want to hear more about this. We need to take a quick break. I'm going to throw it to our sponsors, and we will be right back with this riveting story. <laughs> You're going to need a bigger boat. Yeah. You asked, we delivered. You're going to head over to GoPowerSports.com. You're going to type in Megalodon, M-E-G-A-L-A-D-O-N. Baby, is that right? So this full kit is going to come with the Megamoto 212 roller frame. This is also going to come with the Tillotson 212 electric start with a stage one to give you a little bit of boost, a little extra performance. The battery box to run your lights. And this is going to come with the rear swing arm kit. This is mountain conquering. This is street dividing. So now it's just up to you to jump on and ride. I need a little bit of you makes me your man. Why can't Don Why can put a limit on bore size if I can bore my cast block out to whatever I want? All right, we could talk about that. I mean, we bet. Here, one second, one second. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, you got to go. Well, Flacco, what you think? Uh, here's one the issue, time. boy. One more time. Run the question by me. The question is, why even put a limit on the bore size? If I can bore my cast block out to whatever I want. Because if you were to bore to over what the limit is, what they, they haven't got into yet. But um, I think this was for the second class. Y'all, yeah, the small, the small either, block open. Either way it go. If I, if anybody were to bore over what's the, the limit, if you were to bore over and win, then you got to pop the head and prove it anyway. Yeah. So, but, okay, so, but, like, from a safety, is it a safety perspective? No, or is so it a, no, it's is it, more it, so just, we trying to have level people. Level playing field. Yes, yeah. level playing field. We trying to have people yeah. build to the best of their abilities gotcha. with a limit on yeah. it. Well, I mean, there's any, so, okay, this is a sport. Yeah. And, and every sport has a game. Yeah. There's a game. There's rules. There's something that you have to, there's a yeah. framework you have to function within. You can't just show up here with a, a, a jet engine on the back of your back of your yeah. bike you know but you can, but that's what outlaws yeah that's yeah. what outlaws you know <laughs> yeah. but i feel like for me a personal goal coming from really the biggest mini bike drag racing city in the whole world facts straight from compton yes yeah. i see this being a big thing in the next 15 25 years oh, yeah. yeah i take this very serious as a personal note i've been doing this like oh yeah eight years now yeah i've been doing this since this year so it's a lot of things that can go good. It's a lot of things that can go wrong. Yeah. That's why you can go all out, but in an all out class. If we want this to continue to grow as a sport and not just be seen as the dudes on the small bikes, there's things that you got to, somebody got to put it into play. Yeah. Yeah. Every, I don't mind being the one to put it into play. Every, every successful event in today's time has some kind of structure. Yeah. And I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah, and and mean. and rules change. Yep. You know, we'll yeah. see, we after the event, everyone, you guys are going to revisit yeah. and see how things yeah. went. Look at look at uh, the MLB, Major League Baseball. Yeah, they just changed the pitching rule to where you can't waste so much time. You know, I mean, a lot of pitchers are upset about that. A lot of batters are upset about it. A lot of pitchers like it. A lot of batters like it. So I mean, nobody's going to be just fully satisfied. But at the end of the day, we should be able to still, with those unsatisfied people, we still should should be able to show them a good time. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You well, can't you can't show up with deflated balls to a football game. Yeah, bro. You got so, and we're not trying to step on nobody's toes or nothing yeah. like that. You nah. know, a lot of people feel like we're putting limitations on the things they could do with their money. Yeah. And that's not really the case. It's more so we trying to structure the whole mini bike scene as a whole. Yeah. And not just have, you know, because I come from quarter mile drag racing. Eighth mile drag racing is a big difference. I had to adapt Yo, to the mind. things that the way they do it out here. Just saying, we don't got a track back home that we yeah. can run up. Yeah. So it's a lot of things that I had to adapt to, even doing burnouts in a burnout pit. We don't do that back home. So it's a lot of things that, yeah. you know, you just got to change over time. Bro. I was watching you ride last night and Yellow Billy got a slight dip, bump, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
starting off on these mini bikes, drag racing, Yellow Bell is all I really know. Okay. I've been around, been down other tracks, but I eat, sleep, and breathe Yellow Belly. I know it like the back of my hand. Versus this guy, he used to them Compton streets. Not near about as smooth as the track I've been going down. Yeah. So when it comes to him and this bump, it's like he didn't even go over a bump. He didn't feel it. He's so used to... We got potholes. Right. We got speed bumps. Yeah. Right. We got versus, dangerous. Versus me. Dangerous. Yeah. Versus me, I'm used to nice and smooth. So when I go somewhere other than Yellow Belly and they have a bump that I don't know about, I'm like, oh, God. I like to die. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we have a question about test passes. Since you guys are talking about being new to the track, people want to know if they're going to be able to make test passes. Oh, yeah. Day, so, day of event or yeah. Thursday? So or. this is the thing about it. Now, the track is open on Thursdays and Sundays. The event will be held on Sunday. Now, once again, we're going to be on a strict time limitation. I'm expecting at least 80 bikes to show up. I'm expecting that many people to show up. I'm putting yeah. that that much hope, that much effort. Yeah. I mean, you got to yeah. think about it. We didn't plan in this event since last year. That's true. We didn't yeah. put a, we didn't put months of work in it. So I'm expecting a lot of people to show up. And I, t I tell you what, because I, I feel like a lot of people worried about not making it on that Thursday to test and not having enough time to test the day of the event. So... Um, anybody who watching this right now, if y'all are in town that Friday, get at me because I have a spot that you can go test safely. Um, you won't be in any trouble. We ain't going to get into details about it, but y'all DM me and I can drop you the location to where you can go test yeah. that Friday or Saturday if yeah. you want. You know what I mean? We might be out there. I might be out there. Saturday. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? All my people's go yeah. be back in town. If you if you came to Pool Star Picnic last year you and you went to the at. drag races <laughs> afterwards, then oh, you know right. where yeah. it's yeah. at. Yeah. You know okay. It's at. Yeah. And that spot is so cool just because yeah. I'm gonna get back on topic, but that spot's so cool because me and Flacco and somebody else, I ain't gonna say no name, but we went out there to go test and DFW police was like no, 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 no. Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Shout, Shout out, out to y'all. Fort, Fort Worth PD. Cool. Bro, on the look. horses too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you hey. might see me. <laughs> I asked him like, hey man, we work for this company. You know, we got this big event. It was before yeah. the December 10th event. I'm like, oh, okay. yeah. we really need to get this test pass. And he's like, well, I want to look at the bike, see what they are. Yeah. You know, they're pretty nice, cool. But go ahead, we'll leave. Yeah. I'm leaving. Let y'all do your thing. Yeah. There you go, man. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Back to the rules and regulations, y'all. Hold on, should, should I what? kick it back in? Oh yeah, yeah. One oh, second. We have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can only just cut that in before you go. <laughs> well, I was gonna, I was gonna say I, I I'll include this as a separate thing. Uh, like we can just include this as like a little question and answer thing. Did we have any other questions that people wanted to answer? Why is Jason's or... who cuts Jason's hair? Uh, that's good. <laughs> Not me. Stevie Wonder. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. yeah, it was mainly about testing. Um It's mainly about Jason's hair. It's really <laughs> weird. It's Stevie Wonder. What up, what up C four? C four, what up, C4. brother? C4. C4. Well, bro. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna yep. So kick it back in? Yeah. And we're back. <laughs> Anyways. So our Harley guy is a okay. You talked yeah. to him this morning, yeah, and he just wanted to know what the rules were for the yeah. mini bike classes, right? right? Yeah, what he were did. they? He was curious, and it's it's funny because he got this sixty seventy thousand dollar Harley God. that he drag racing that's also running on methanol, and he's like, yeah. "That's a pretty cool bike you got." Yeah, and I'm like, "Hey, <laughs> it's up. it's crazy because he crunked the bike up, and it's running a couple seconds, and I go." And I look over at Day Day, and Day Day like. Then he look at me, and we say the same thing, and bah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And later on at night, he came to us and was like, "Hey man, y'all bike smell funny." He was like, "Yeah, y'all yeah, bike smell funny." <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, back to the rules and regulations. All right, now all bikes must be a mini bike chassis. Yeah. Meaning. Before you get that, Harley wants to know. How does Jason stay so slim? <laughs> he stopped eating 10 years ago. <laughs> all right, but back to it. Um, all bikes must be a mini bike chassis. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I ain't going to throw names of different frames, but we will be able to recognize if this is a mini bike yeah. chassis. Now, if it's a handmade, I mean, 
home built mini bike chassis? Just follow the mini bike guidelines. Yeah, that's all we ask. Just, just build that's a mini bike. If will you don't build a handmade chassis, just build a mini bike. Will we include if we're uh, for the rules packet? Are we gonna have a thing just outlining? Hey, this is what a mini bike is like for the chassis that we're what we're looking Not for. Not really. The most most of the true mini bikers know. Okay. No. Like yeah. this event yeah. for people who do this seven yeah. days a week, like us. Gotcha. Most that take this serious. Even yeah, even so even the new guys. Yeah. Okay. Because you got new guys that's been riding big bikes. Yeah. So they know you know what a mini bike is. Oh no, but I'm just I'm I'm I don't want someone showing up and they're you know like oh well actually I you know it's like you I, like no dirt bikes that have a mm. Predator 212 on there then okay. keyword. Dirt, dirt bike. bike. There you go. Pit bike. I mean, if they want there to race, okay. They can get it in. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm about? By all means. All right. Now By back to means. it. No gearboxes. Meaning. Yeah. Pit no bike. mini bike yeah. with a two fifty cc something that has yeah. a manual transmission, a semi automatic transmission. A transmission must be either disc, clutch, whatever. Okay. Or torque converter. Yeah. No, nope, no banging gears. Nope. Okay. No okay. whapping, whapping, whapping. I heard somebody say that last night. What? They only got one gear. Yeah, it's just grab and go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, really? I got two. One in the front and one, one in the back. back. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> it's a knee slapping. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> All right. Now, I think that's the opener right there, actually. Yeah. <laughs> So the distance that this race will be will yep. be eighth mile, which equals out to six hundred and sixty feet. Yeah. All right. It's half a quarter. So that being said, <laughs> nailed I'm it. Just, fractions. I'm just, you know. We're gonna be running a pro tree setup in Flaco. I'm gonna ask you to explain pro tree. <sighs> All right. So pro tree. You got me and Day Day racing. Day Day has two staging beams. I got two staging beams. Boom, boom. Well, I got two sets. He got two sets. Okay. So Day Day going to stage up, light up one set, wait on me. I'm going to light up my set. Now I'm waiting on Day Day to light up his second set. Boom. He light okay. up his second set. Now he waiting on my second set. Creep in a little bit more, light up those. Now we have three ember lights, orange, yellow. We all look at different colors, whatever. Um, orange. They're orange to me. <laughs> Those lights are going to light up together, not sequentially. All, they're going to go, all three of them together are going to go bang green. Mm -hmm. If you sit there and wait to see green, you probably just got left. Mm -hmm. What you're trying to do is anticipate this short fraction of time in between orange and green. So you you really want to start moving right after that orange lit up not when the green lights up so it's, it's so basically you're waiting so amber you want like basically split second between and that's how you get the blue sparks yep. start up if i'm making a solo pass then it's gonna be stage one stage two all three orange boom green okay it's just like straight like that literally orange green yes sir. gotcha so yeah. for the newbies uh, staging is lining up with the laser. Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah, correct. So now this will not be a race that's, you know, hand, boom, boom, hand mm -hmm. drop. No, yeah. this is an official mm -hmm. at the track. You can't yep. cheat the laser system. Yeah. Red light, you lose. Red light, you out. Oh, we the line, get to, we go get to that. We okay. Get to that. We ain't that that part yet, okay. but we're going to get to that. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to stay on track right now. Pro Tree, we did that. Um, Due to time restraints, there will be no back buy back ends, mm -hmm. meaning... I'm going to put it, scenario, we're going to draw a picture right here. Yeah. Zane, put in a nice little picture for me, right? Ooh. Save me and Flacco is racing. He stage in. I stage in. Yeah. He stage in again. I stage in again. Yellow, and I go before the green even go, and I red light. Mm. Meaning, I left before that light even turns green. Ooh. Meaning, I lost. I can really sit there and win. Yeah. yeah. He don't have to move. He can walk to the end of the track yeah. if he wants to. He's and I walking. probably, well, some people, you still have to finish. You got to cross the line. Yeah. If we were to do that, I would just cruise, cruise down the just track. Cruise down the track. Just finish it out. Yeah. That's, cause, I mean, that's the thing is you've, it's a default. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Most yeah. definitely. Um, Where was that? Uh, red light. Red light. Boom. Um, Buy back in. Buy back. There we go. Now, I'm out. Yeah. I cannot come to me and say, hey, daddy, I want to buy back in to get a fair chance. Unfortunately, 
just only due to time restraints, yeah. we're not allowing that this time. And it's only because of time. You time know? I, me and Day Day would prefer buybacks. Yeah. Cause the, it's gonna cr increase the pot. Yeah. yeah, you know, more money is always good. And plus, but we, when just, it, we might not have the time. When it come to racing, I want to get a fair win to say I beat your bike yeah. head up at the best exactly. of his ability. I'd rather not win off a of red light. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or any technicality. Yeah. Whether it's a chain. Yeah. Anything. It doesn't feel good. It no, doesn't. Yeah. It's not real it racing. Doesn't. It doesn't. But it is what it is. But I mean, when you only got so much time, when you don't have time for a redo, bro. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You All right, I mean? um, where I'm at with it. If you red light, you have lost a race. Covered that. Um, head up racing. Yeah. Should I have to explain that or? You here? I'm here. Heads up. Yeah. No, no links. No let you move. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. No, I'm at Flacco's back tire yeah. because he got a faster bike than me. Yeah. Or sure. his time is faster than mine is. If you enter the class, no. no. You it's just like straight head to head. Yep. Yeah. You guys are just, okay. We, we got the same point A we're going to start at, and we're racing to the same point B. Got yep. you, got you. Okay. All right. Um, Pre-tech will be done before races begin, meaning everybody that enters into the pot, um, I believe Taylor's going to go around and inspect everyone's bike yeah. just to make sure they meet all safety um, regulations. Yeah. Okay. It's a few you. different things we're going to get to. I think he's actually going to get, like, a couple different guys from different regions. To help. To help. So, fair. so it's just not one Texas guy doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, we trying to make this fair. We yeah. ain't. Yeah. We not in and it. And we don't want to, yeah, we don't want there to be the, uh, any perception yeah. of anything going on. Nah. I mean, that's the, yeah, the whole point of this is that we want a cool, awesome event where yeah. people are going head to head. We yeah. don't want there to be anyone being like, oh, well, you know, Taylor did my tech, yeah. so obviously. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. Mm, we don't want that. Not at all. Taylor's stand up guy, too. Shout out to Taylor. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, functioning breaks. As long as you can stop, now. As long as you can stop, I am okay with that. Now, Where are your brakes, Flacco? I, I knew one of y'all was going to say so. Flacco ain't got no brakes last night. He's oh, brakes. Oh, <laughs> oh, so, no. Flacco wouldn't be able to run. Keep your brake lines away from your exhaust pipe. Please do. You will leak no. fluid everywhere. That, okay. metal get, that metal get hot. Yeah. Oh, and you okay. won't be able to stop. All right. Uh, functioning brakes. Um, now, for those who, you know, like to come to folks back home, I will talk to my text to say, hey, the brakes function. I got two bikes to scrub brakes. We're yeah. all seeing they function. Yeah. So, scrub brakes are that. fine, though. Scrub brakes are fine. As okay. long as you can stop, I'm happy. A little okay. insane, but perfectly safe. <laughs> <laughs> all vents must terminate at a catch can, meaning if I'm venting my engine from my side cover to my head, to my catch can, I must have an on and off switch. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be two, what, gas on and off shorts on your catch can. Yeah. We're trying to stop any leaks from the track because if you water down, you spill oil on the track, that becomes a headache for everyone. Yeah. So it's not the whole just, thing down. Yeah. Not just us, but for the cars, Everybody. for yeah. the track owners, the spectators, it is rain, y'all. So you got a um, question, Bernie? With that, somebody asked, is it going to be mini bikes only or not cars in the way like last time? But we're we're working on that to try and get early. Yeah. So we yeah. can have. So we're working at. We're but working on it. At the same time, yeah, I got to be flexible just yeah. because we are going to a racetrack yeah. that's known for huge car racing. Track track been there thirty years. Yeah. Mini bikes only been racing there two, yeah. maybe three. So, so I mean, we got to be flexible. Yeah. I mean, just last night, I think the the grudge racing pot was over forty five thousand. Man. So. But I, I will say I've been to a lot of different tracks, professional tracks, racing my mini bike. Yellow Belly has showed me more respect as a mini bike racer than any other track. I've actually got an announcement over the intercom at Yellow Belly. All right, y'all, look out. The mini bikes are coming through. You know what I mean? Um, no, they, they, not going to say no names, but I've been to other tracks in some states nearby, and I got the... Get over there with your little bike treatment. You know what I mean? So oh, wow. if if you haven't been to Yellow Belly, you're going to love it. Yeah. If you came last time, we're working on making it better, better for you to love it more. Yeah. If you didn't love it. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Y'all you. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm from Arkansas, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Functioning kill switches. Yes, every bike will have to kill a switch. Yeah. Um, for a long time, I didn't have a kill switch myself on any of my race bikes now. Cali for this event, hey, relax. <laughs> for this event, 
functioning kill switches or a tether line, meaning a dead man switch. You know, good example for that. Um, if you ever seen the jet ski in the little band that wraps around your wrist, just in case you ever fly off during a wave yeah. and the jet ski turns off, same thing for your mini bike. Yeah. We're trying to keep things. I done been down some bad falls and my mini bike for some reason always stays on. Oh, I'm <laughs> real big on manifestation. Can we say like fall off, kill, switch? I don't, the dead man switch just don't, it don't sit right with me. I didn't name it. Well, no, it's actually, I think that it actually is called dead man switch. I know, but that's just terrible. I know, I know. But we go change it. All right. Oops. Oops. Oh, 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 switch. Yeah. Uh oh, switch. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're talking about one of those oopsie switches. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, everything must be securely fastened, no loose or unsecure parts, meaning tires, yeah. rims, hoses, axles, hoses, yeah. fuel line, fuel pumps, cables, cables, brake cables. We don't want y'all brakes going out like somebody. I ain't gonna say no names. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Foot picks, um, catch cans, <laughs> kickstands, neck bolts, throttle cables. I'm going through the whole you list. You don't want to pull up and crank your bike up, and it sounds like a box Chevy from 2005 mm. with 415s in the trunk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, okay. it's a bunch of rattling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm checking fenders, I'm checking wheelie bars, I'm checking yeah. seats. Okay, make sure everything is... I want and, everybody and re safe. Really, really doing this sport, man, that's... Dude, I go over nuts and bolts every time I get on that bike. Yeah. It's, you you want to be used to doing that anyway. No, I mean, Are you a, a Loctite user? Because somebody mentioned It depends that. on what it is. Yes, I am a Loctite user. I'm not. Certain threads, though, you, you don't... You don't want a Loctite. No. <laughs> no. We've we seen some stuff in the past few days like that didn't got Loctite. That didn't need to be Loctite. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, we go continue. Now, clutch guard required. Now, if you're somebody like me who doesn't run a clutch guard, I get it. I'm getting a clutch guard on my bike myself. Yeah. So, <laughs> clutch guard required just because... Safety I've seen, precaution. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I got scars on the back of my leg where the clutch didn't grab me. And yeah. it's pretty deep and pretty long. So clutch guard required um, because your chain can pop, tire can blow out, clutch can fly off, yeah. rod can blow, rockers can break. Anything, Anything can happen. Your cam can fly out your side cover. Chain. Do a clutch guard a save you from a chain whooping. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, it's you're talking about, uh, you know, just in terms of expenditure of force. This is a sprint where you are literally just going right off the line. You are putting all the power right into yep. it in one go. Yep. Yeah. So everything that you're doing, all that power is going to go somewhere, and there's going to be someone whose chain is going to fly oh, off. Yeah. There's I mean, someone who is going to have their engine well, blow if up. If you think you know? about it, if I'm doing high 90s at 11,000 plus RPM in seven seconds, yeah, many yeah. things that that's are functioning on that bike can go wrong. Yeah. But that's the game we play. That's the game we play, but we're trying to play it safe. Yeah. No, that's the most important yeah. thing. No, that's the whole safe. point. Is, is we're, we're trying to have some control over the chaos. Yeah, most yeah. well, definitely. Yeah. And, you, you know, I I'm like a big... Control chaos. I'm a big face of the mini bike scene myself, personally, when it comes to drag racing. So Huge. I didn't see... Appreciate that, brother, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I didn't see <laughs> everything. I didn't see people pass away doing bikes, doing yeah. races, middle... I didn't see it all. Yeah, unseen. I ain't never mind. Yeah. We just go. Continue. But it's no, it's it's the, it's the reason. Thing. The reason why these these rules are on the books is because there's someone who has gotten injured or passed away from yeah. something here. Yeah. That's the reason why they're there. I don't it's know, not. It's not to sprint. penalize anyone. It's not to be like, oh, you you need to go get this part. It's like no. It's literally we're just trying to we're keep just, everyone safe. Yeah. I didn't lost close friends growing up through the years as a kid. Yeah. Know, bikes. Buddy Even from, as an adult. Yeah. Buddy from um. Uh, Louisa. Matter of fact, shout out Blake uh, Crosby. Um, he had a pretty bad wreck not long ago, but he's doing good now. Nice okay. and healthy. Yeah. I talked to him the other day. I think he actually back on his bike now. That's, okay, there you go, man. That's how we are. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? But Fall down, get back up. That's, he, I'm pretty sure he one who can tell you that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It okay. matters. It makes a difference. Here we go. All yeah. right. Now, when it comes to helmets, <sighs> full face helmets man. is required. You cannot run a half motorcycle helmet you can't run the hand well no, that's full face still anything that covers your face as a helmet what about the lift up joints now that's a tricky situation because it's still considered full face yeah so i don't see why not no. but if you're going down the track that that lid yeah. have to be all the way down 
Okay. Yeah. Meaning the front of that helmet. No. <laughs> okay. Definitely. All right. Um, I'm going to throw this in here. I'm going to say at least visors are re not necessarily required, but at least ad advised. Recommended. Yeah. Recommended. Yeah. Especially non tent advisors since we're going to be at the track at night. Yeah. You yeah. want to be able to see going around the curves. Now, at the end of the track, there is bumps and stuff going around the curves. All right. Yeah. Hey, maybe y'all should uh let them know. Maybe we should let them know. Get like a like a bicycle light. Yeah. Some type of light. System just for pit road. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just for pit road. That's it. Yeah. That's it. All right. Um, jackets. Yeah. Whether it's full race suit, half race jacket like how I wear. Um, padded something. Elbows, shoulders. Yeah. yeah. Um, what you call these shoulders, right? Shoulder pads. Yeah. Shoulder pads. <laughs> Chest. Are you talking about uh, pads for your shoulders? Yeah. Oh, shoulder pads. Yeah. 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 I yeah. got you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's going to be necessary, or at least yeah. some type of long sleeve hoodie. Yeah, okay. I'm telling y'all, man, a, a, a racetrack ground is different from a street ground. Yeah. It don't scrape your skin off. It's gonna it pull it off. It pulls it off. You You will go back and look at where you fell, and your skin will still be on that track intact. Just, just like like a play doh like impression. a patch. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Like somebody uh, just peeled your arm off and shit. cover your body so, up. Yeah, like cover your body this up. This isn't. Yeah, we're not. This isn't like. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm a big tough guy. It's like no, no, no one's bro. skin survives any of these acts. Cover Don't your body up. Man. Cover yourself like up, man. Dylan said in the the thing, don't cheap out on helmets. Like yeah. if there's anything you're not gonna cheap yeah. out, you should cheap out. If on you feel same. like, I tell everybody, if you feel like your 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 brain is worth fifty bucks, by all means, get you a fifty dollar helmet. But if you feel like your brain is worth a thousand bucks, by all means, you should get you a thousand dollar helmet. My brain, I feel like it's worth a lot. So I gonna, you know, I, I wanna spend a little bit of money on my helmet. I mean, I, <laughs> I I had a very I had a low speed accident falling and having a helmet on, I was I mean, like I yeah. still had some, you know, yeah. some accident. It rung your bell so. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's not something you want. Imagine, imagine. That's what it looked like when I got up too. <laughs> imagine hitting it without that helmet, yeah. bro. Oh no, man, no, like that's not even going. Yeah, even doing what yeah, fifteen man. miles an hour or something like that. It was still. I've seen a head bust inside of a helmet. Yeah, helmet on, blood puddle, and it ain't pretty. No, it's not yeah. pretty at all. Yeah. We'll throw the picture up right here. No, we're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> this ain't Twitter, man. Yeah, this ain't Twitter. It's Facebook. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> We gonna continue with full length pants. I would not allow you to race with shorts, mm -hmm. some type of cargo pants. I would not allow anything that's loose, baggy, where you can pull it and it's four or five inches yeah. away from your ankles. I would not allow yeah. it. So, so no hoochie daddy shorts. No, no, none at all. Not unless you are wearing chaps over them. <laughs> Even then, you would just be wearing your chaps. <laughs> Yeah, but um, full length pants, no shorts, no sweats, no joggers, no yeah, no cool outfits. I'm trying to be the coolest I, dude out the racetrack. I'm not allowing it. I think we full race leathers recommended though. Yeah, but we do allow hoodie, so you can get yeah. away with a hoodie. You can get away with a hoodie, but yeah. the bottom you at least yeah. need jeans. You got all the moving parts. You got the clutch yeah. spinning. You got the chain going. You got your sprocket going. You got your. Yeah. Your yeah. side, your fly wheel spinning. I didn't seen somebody die get ripped off because they Ooh. leg got stuck in their chain. Yeah. No, you got to see how far your thigh is. So that means their leg got to pull all the way to their chain and took about a four or five inch chunk out there. It's like a Ooh. meat grinder. Bro. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. I mean, wear padding. Yeah. Just like if, if you're going to get jeans. Get jeans with padding in them. Most there's definitely. there's no shame in that. Like I throw, know I know weight the, weight is weight. I know you're trying to go pants, fast, but throw the sweatpants on under the jeans. Yeah, yeah. If you're cold, yeah, it's you gonna be May. The, it's, it's gonna be a Texas May. Might though. be a little warm. Yeah, but you'll be safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, um, gloves for your hand will be mandated. Yeah. These are rules that I'm saying. If I see you without it, I would not allow you to participate in this yeah. event as we're doing. Now, if you want to graduate on your own, feel free. But for the 660 race, you would not be allowed. If Gotta I had them you, once. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, one I had see, gloves yeah. on and I had all my fingerprints gone off this hand. Yeah. This is very serious. This is a sport that is very dangerous. It's fun. You can have a ball in it. Don't yeah. get me wrong. You can enjoy it to the but top. But you can also here. carry some scars around. Yes. And you can possibly end your life. So we're trying to 
cover all yeah. cautions. Mechanics you know? and mechanic gloves are cool. Yeah. But they ain't riding gloves. Yeah, you want some riding gloves? What's some riding gloves. You know, it's funny because the gloves that I wear yeah. is different from the ones Flacco wear. Flacco yeah. got gloves with padding in the knuckles. As you can see, I busted both of my knuckles <laughs> yeah. open. Busted knuckles. Yeah. Literally, I was able Shout to see my bones. Yeah. <laughs> I was able to see my bones through my hand yeah, because I had holes in my knuckles. Yeah. Now, if I had some padded knuckles, you wouldn't be good. Be that problem. Yeah. You my might need a pair of gloves when it's all said and done. Yeah, but you'll be fine. Yeah. But it's cool. We're going to continue. The whole point is easy. it's easier to replace gloves and pants and a jacket and a helmet. It's easier to replace that stuff than it is to replace a body. Oh, part. yeah. Yeah. You can. I mean, I don't even can, think they transplant yeah, hands. Very yeah, I, mean, I don't think it's like no hand I know enhancing surgery right yeah, now. Yeah. I don't know. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm just playing. We're talking right. about that later. Boot, shoes that covers the ankle. Yeah. Um, if you're somebody that likes to be comfortable like me and wear their Crocs everywhere. Yeah. What are those? <laughs> <They're> Crocs. <laughs> they got them in sport mode. <laughs> My boy, stay ready. Oh, I, you know, I don't My know boy, stay sleeping. ready. My boy, stay sleeping. ready. Now, if I see you in Crocs, Vans are not allowed. Um, what about high top Vans? If it covers your ankle, yeah. yeah. But low top Vans, not allowed. Okay. Um, like me, I like to wear low top forces. Yeah. Not allowed. No. You need something that covered the ankles. So we trying yeah, to keep you safe. Crocs. High top Crocs. <laughs> Crocs. Crocs. They can't be foam, no. Bernie. No, Bernie. They have to be rubber sole. What is that going to protect? <laughs> <laughs> we got people in the comments that are like, no Crocs. Somebody rubber sole. Okay. Ankles covered. Moon boots. No. 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 That's not rubber. Those go up to your calf. I just said just above your ankle. I, yeah, well, I'm just trying to figure out where the line is. And it's not rubber. Oh, that's true. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Zane's gonna come on you wearing chaps where and shoes then red ankle. Boots. <laughs> ankle. I got my outfit picked out. The ankle is covered. The sole is rubber. Okay. No. Simple as that. So those so yeah, like that. That's it. You can wear Jordans. Yeah. I ain't wearing I mean, these. I would. I, I would. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm recommending. That's actually my trademark. I race in Jordans. Oh, really? Right. That's your thing. I, this. I will only wear a pair of J's. This okay. is the. The That's question all that I'm everybody in. been on Facebook conversating about, you know, um, the last one. Don't say it out loud. This and it's funny because me, when we first posted the rules, Flacco called me and was like, "Hey man, the last rule on the thing." And I'm like, "Flacco, I already know what you're talking about." <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my desk, man. Y'all, I'm gonna holler at y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, at the end of the race, whoever wins. Yeah. How did we word that? It's worded weird. It's worded weird. I it's still say it's worded tricky. weird. It is, and I agree. Yeah. And we apologize for that because we caused a lot of confusion with yeah. that. Now, there's three classes. We're only mandating the final two winners from the small block pull start yes. and the small block open class to yes. remove the head. If you're running outlaw, there is no need because you're the biggest and baddest person. As long as it's one cylinder, as which if it ain't one cylinder. cylinder, you shouldn't have made it that far anyway. Well, we can yeah. see. We should have caught you in pre tech Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But we got that. Yeah. So if you're the biggest, baddest wolf around, hey, yeah. you good. We're going to leave you alone. Yeah. But if you're running small block pull start or small block open, you will be required to pop the head. Meaning there's going to be a guy with a micrometer walking around. Yeah. I'm not going to say his name. But at the end of the race, he's going to measure your piston size. If you are the winner. If you're the winner. Maybe we should say the name so that people aren't just having dudes walking up. Well, see, well I don't know. I, I know who. Okay, I got you. Oh, okay, but then yeah. we don't make it seem like we're trying to play favorites. I see, got you. I got you. I read it the confusing way because I, and I'm saying this so I clear everybody up because I read it the same way too. I had the, the state of mind that if me and Daddy make it to the final in our class, before we race, we have to pop our heads and prove that. Whatever the case, whatever the case. That's not the case, y'all. Me and Day Day, it's just an example. Me and Day Day both, we the big boys in our class. Um, Day Day go on to beat me. Now Day Day has to pop off his head. You see what I'm saying? After he's the one. Like, he won. We know he the man. Now we just got to prove that he didn't cheat. Mm. So, there. It's, it's drug testing. No comment. I'm just no 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 no. It's not. I'm gonna leave that one alone. We're gonna say no, out, literally, bro. not literally, out. not literally. Out. Don't out. worry. Uh, <laughs> no comment. Yeah, cut, that, cut, that, cut, that. Yeah, cut that. Cut that. Out, cut that. Out. 
Yeah, but I will say no, no. It, it's the same. It's the same thing. Like it, uh, the Tour de France or whatever. It's like afterwards, everyone everyone knows they're gonna have to go in, and they're if yeah. you pop hot. You know, yeah. if you get caught doing something you shouldn't exactly. be doing, yeah. that's an issue. Exactly. And that's all this is. This is just accountability. Exactly. This, is, this isn't this is any kind of punishment. This isn't us being like, oh, we don't trust that yeah. you won or whatever. If, if, if Barry Bonds had never won anything, we would have never known. Exactly. That's right. That's right like that. So <laughs> on classes and people, kids could Day Day show up with three different bikes to race in one in each class? No. If Dede wants to do that, Dede can. Once again, we're going to be on time restraints. Yeah. I will gladly, if you're not back at your bike, at that line, ready to go. Unfortunately. I will gladly say, well. Unfortunately. Move on to the next. I wouldn't advise trying to run all three classes. I Maybe two. But you pushing it. You pushing it. Okay. You pushing it. You pushing it. You know what I mean? I mean, but. I can see it be done to set up that way. It's possible. As long as you got the, the, the next bike hot and ready and waiting on you to where you come out of the pits, jump off this one, grab that one. and But there's a dilemma. Say I got, um, say I'm the last person in my class, but the first person in the next class. Yeah. I line up, boom, I take off. Now we're waiting on you instantly. Now we're waiting for you to go down the track, come yeah. back, go down pit lane, the, grab the, your time no, slip. The moment your light turned green, yeah. we're waiting next. on you for the next race. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, the bikes behind you are already yeah. doing their burnouts preparing once yeah. you take off to go for it. Yeah. The guy you racing is at the starting line waiting on you while you're racing. Okay. Pretty much. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So it's I, I I wouldn't advise. Okay. Now I will be flexible to say, hey, do anybody want to volunteer their spot and switch it? Yeah. I'm not that I'm not a bad person. I'm trying yeah. to be flexible. I yeah. want everybody to do what they do best at their highest ability. Yeah. So But and, we're on a time restraint. But if so, yeah. So if someone really has it deep down in their heart that they want to race in all three classes, do it. We'll try. Do it. We'll try. We can try and accommodate you. But it's one of those things where it's it's gonna have to be kind of a there's gonna I have to be give on your part. Yeah. I would do my best to accommodate for you because we did it last time. We're not gonna be like I told you so. Yeah, <laughs> we're I mean? not them yeah. type of people. We're not them right. type of people. Nah, we see what it. we can do. We get it. Let's I do this seven do. days a week. Yeah. Yes, Bernie. Can we do um, quick question? What's your max piston size allowed for each class? Can we go over that. One? All right. Small Just the piston size. small block. Pull start. Now, the biggest you can go is a 225, meaning if you have a Tillerson 225 with a 72, 72 millimeter piston, 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 piston. <laughs> so 72 millimeter piston or what we call back home a 28. Yeah. That's the biggest piston you can go. Okay. Now, on small block open, you can go three inch and above. Three Oh, I don't know the direct cap off know. with the three inch piston for that, but it's a pretty hair large. bigger than three inches. Yeah. yeah. And we can also we'll include some of this stuff into FAQs and we'll have some of this information on the website yeah. and in future posts that we're going to put out. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's like, yeah, now is not your last chance to ask questions about no. this stuff. Yeah. If you run an outlaw, if you got a seven inch piston and this mini bike motor that started off. And if you can fit God that bless piston you, man. into that good, cylinder. Good, yeah. Man, I would love to. Hey. How much you want for that block when it's off? <laughs> <laughs> me and Daddy will go, go half. <laughs> so no 236 in the pull start? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. up to 236. A 236. A 230. No. A 236 would be the max. That's a 72 millimeter piston. With a stroker kit. With a stroker. That's a stroked out 225. Yeah, that's pretty much what it yeah. is. Now, you might have a head on it that's a cast head that, I don't know, the best porter in the world ported it and, and, and did and whatever rockers, 1.85 Eight. Eight rockers. That's your business. That's legal. As long as you meet that that, that board requirement. You 90% know what I mean? nitro allowed? Yeah. 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 You can run 100%. Yeah. 110 percent yeah uh, I, I think there's a re other reasons why people can't run 110 percent if you nitro. won't show i'm not recommending if i you, think the way percentages work if you if you do that problem if you do that we're like a sign on you that say i might be on fire <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> because Nitro burns invisible. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. And I'm sure all y'all seen Talladega Nights. <laughs> I'm on fire. That's real. Ricky Bobby wasn't on fire, but that, yeah. You can't get Ricky Bobbed. You can't, you can't get Ricky, Ricky Bob. Bobbed. So okay. we're like a, in, um, in professional, like Nitro racing, they have to. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Where they have to have something on their bike or their body to indicate that it's, it's nitro in there. Yeah. Because they might be doing the crazy dance and everybody like, oh, look at that. Let me try it. Let me try it too. <laughs> when really he over there burning to death. You know so, I mean? so walk me through day of as I'm a racer. I've decided I'm only going to race one bike. Right. I'm there. I'm standing in front of the Go Power Sports registration booth. What happens then when I look over and there's 30 of my peers in the same pool start? uh class small block class what do we do do we all draw numbers yes. one through 30. we normally do poker chips yeah poker chips yeah. We, we, try to keep poker the chips. Way. we do poker chips uh matching numbers race each other yeah how are you one, matching okay keep going. where my one's at y'all first up where my two's at y'all second up where my three's at so if i pull second. a number three and zane pulls a number three they got to get it on third okay yeah That's that way point. that way some people like to show up ready to roll straight off the trailer. Some people don't. Yeah. Doing it that way, that kind of makes it fair. Mm -hmm. it, you know what I mean? You might be, you might pull that number one. Should have had your bike ready, bro, when you unloaded it. Because you might just pull that number one and you might be first down the track. You might pull a number 20. You got time to go get it together. So now people can't trade chips, right? Nah. Okay. Don't do that. See. Well, <laughs> let's not say nah. We did say we're trying to accommodate. So if you're racing more than one, and if you find somebody willing to, and as long as we write it down for our yeah. notes, hey, okay. Why not? I mean, I guess it really don't make a difference. As long as you let someone know. Yeah. But the, yeah, okay. So yeah. just no surprises. No surprises. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Also, unfortunately, also due to time restraints, there will be no first round call outs. No. Yeah. Okay. So meaning. Before I start pulling chips, if I know, if I know Fabian coming from North Carolina and I'm from Texas and I want to race Fabian real bad, yeah. Before the event, say, before we say, hey, everybody pull up and first round call outs, anybody? No, not no. doing that this time around. Not not this time. Possibly next time, and you know the years after that, but not this time. And that's okay. that's really only cool when you got a lot of cats with a lot of grudges. Yeah, it's been a lot of that. We all know Zane, Jason, Flacco, Day Day. We all know we don't get along with these bikes. We about to have a tournament. Just settle it out. Bernie here too. Bernie, you hold on. Anybody here got anything to do right now? Yeah. Jane, uh, Jason, Zane, y'all been doing y'all thing. Why don't y'all go ahead and get it on first round? Cool. Boom. Day Day, that leaves me and you. Typically, that's what it would be like. Yeah. Okay. But that's what, like I say, that's when it's, it's grudge is involved. Yeah. That's when that get fun. And yeah. once once the event is over. Ah, that's what I wanted to get to. Okay. There, okay. Yeah. Y'all know back home I'm from. Yeah. yeah. We do tournaments, but our thing is grudge racing. Well, I'm going to leave it on this note. After the event, there will be a lot of grudge racing. Anything going. goes. Anything okay. goes. There's no limitation to the grudge yeah. racing. How late does Yellow Belly stay open? Yellow, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. If it's jumping, yeah, they gonna stay open yeah. till yeah. two, three o'clock like in the us, morning. Yeah. They stay open. So yeah, so that's what we call indigestion in the gut, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> keeps it keeps going all day long. <laughs> Constipated. We got yeah. stuck in the gut, baby. Yeah. <laughs> we constipated. Yeah. But I'm leaving on that note. <laughs> well, so prize if you win, so you got your buy-ins. Is it top three payout? No, it's not be top three payout. No, nah. it's, mm -hmm. it's winner take it all. Winner, winner take it all. So this is a winner takes all. Yeah, this yeah. this okay. turn. This drag racing. Percent of it. Yeah. This drag racing. Uh, in, right. in that so class. In that class. If there's an eight hundred dollar pot and small block open, and I'm the baddest person in that class, and I won and pop my head, and the yeah. tech came, measured my piss, and said, "Hey, good to go." Yeah, I took that eight hundred dollars home, and we kind of got a thing mm -hmm. down here too. Hundred bucks. Yeah, this ain't only eight people. You thinking eighty people? Hey, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Do the numbers. I you could, do you could, yeah, you could, you could have a nice little uh, Christmas in yeah. May. You know. Yeah. At side note, we always look out for our race master. Yeah. Whoever win, we always it's kind of our thing. Show the, show the race master some love. That yeah. man been working hard. Well, no, it's, it's you know, you, know you, you can throw some chips to the Come dealer, on, man. man. That's how exactly. it works. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The man been working hard. Yeah. For you. So. 
Okay. Look out for him. And I might be the race master, so look out for you. I'm not giving this guy. <laughs> but um, I'm all good. So I mean, we we've been going for a little while. We can keep it going for a hot second longer if Jason's I'm, cool. Or I, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I didn't know if that was a are you guys segment. Man, I'm excited, y'all. Yeah. So let me. Uh, we'll just close it on this. How how are you guys prepping for the event? Uh, dude, we we've been prepping since last year. I know. Well, no, you guys are prepping basically every Thursday and Man, Sunday. Yeah, as far we, as I can we, tell, this every, every weekend day. for us. Yeah. Yeah. So so okay, but like. Yeah, what are you guys doing to train? Are you guys just getting your laps in when you go out there? You guys are just hitting the track? And... Man, seat time, seat time, seat time. Okay. Seat time. Get that seat time. Gotcha. Find that sweet spot for your bike. Yeah. Um, Tell us about your bike because you got a sweet spot. You need to find your sweet spot because you got a brand new I'm brand. looking for it now. I'm looking for it now. I'm on a new, I'm on a new Rascal GT finally, y'all. Bam, Rascal GT oh, frame. Yeah. yeah. I've been waiting and waiting. Right over there. That's what I'm talking about. You know right what I'm there. saying? Can I take yeah. that one home? If you if you need to go for it, <laughs> you're part of the team. I want you to win. So yes, go take it home. That's a okay. Oh, I forgot. On that note, we forgot. Jason, you forgot to ask us. Will we be racing in the event? Will you be racing in the event? Both so, y'all. So Flacco will. What? Dede will not. I think I'm gonna step back and I want to help the event run as smoothly as possible. Yeah, make man, sure everybody. What a mensch. And y'all gotta. What you gotta. You gotta. You gotta stand up this for that. This is my man. guy right that, here. That's a stand-up guy. That takes a lot. I won't even... Will you, will you accept call-out? Oh, I accept yeah, call-out. I'm going to make them take it. <laughs> so up, bro. Yeah, Come on. Most definitely. Because Braylon called you out. Rascal GT versus Rascal Oh, we got it. Yeah. Come on. Lock it in. Let's Lock it. it in. Okay. <laughs> but this is cool. the thing. I put money on my races. Yeah, we don't... I don't race for free. Yeah, we, we got no. to finance this, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I paid rent to get into this chat. Don't rent. worry, you can uh, you can do like, do you have a pay it later account kind of thing where it's like, you know, oh, okay, yeah, I lost. Uh, can uh, I give you twenty five bucks next time? I got cash. Out. I I'm take gonna cash. say, I'll I take food stamps. Zane, I'll I'll take Zell. I move like the nineties, dog. I want them greenbacks. <laughs> yeah, I want all blues. <laughs> okay, okay, all blues. That's how I like it. All blues. Um, nah, man, it's it's gonna be epic. Okay, so tell us a little bit before we go. Tell us a little bit about the bike you're running. Tell us a little bit about the bike you're running. So. Oh, man. So a while back, if y'all don't remember, um, we did the Scratch Little Rascal. Yep, yep. Took it to Tulsa, uh, mm -hmm. to the Daryl Starbird show. Whooped on everybody. Yeah. Came back home. Got to thinking, this kind of uncomfortable because it's small. I'm almost six foot. Yeah. Um, got with Taylor and was like, man, I'm about to take a rascal and do exactly what we did to that little rascal. Yeah. And did that, and it was flawless. The red bike. Yeah. Um, beautiful. Day Day of Vouch. It's a flawless bike. It's like Cadillac. Like. Um, yeah. But, it, but at the end of the day, <laughs> it's, at the end of the day, it's not a drag bike. Yeah. It's still got a little weight. She's a heavy girl. Okay. Um, so with this Rascal GT, Taylor, man, the man did his thing. Um, I helped out. I, had, I chimed in this and that. I test fitted the bike and um, gave in my voice my opinion here and there it's got some of your dna now. yeah oh yeah um but it's just it's it's way more sophisticated it's way lighter um we got the, the honeycomb cutouts of back it's there way cooler looking it's way lower um it's way more adjustable far as swapping from clutch to torque converter is okay. you're not changing anything you slap it right on um pig location um Steering stabilizer, direct bolt on, um, improved nice. seat. Now you got more seat room. It's a longer seat on it. Um, man, yeah. it's crazy. I was gonna say, yeah, like just even just the peg placement options yeah. there is really good because depending on what style you're gonna and be that's, running in, and that so. actually makes a difference in yeah. the riding. In the, like, yeah, most yeah. definitely. Big difference. Big difference. <laughs> yeah. Plus, if someone wanted to add a wheelie bar, we yeah. have wheelie bar wheelie tabs bar to the back of it. On yeah. It. Um, optional live axle, so it, you get the option to run a 12 millimeter step down reducer, um, a 5.8 five eighth reducer, so that you can run a 12 millimeter axle, 5.8 eighth axle, or you can pop that out. Some people swear up and down, they bending axles. I won't argue that. We just made them a frame. Yeah. You know, we got a frame that you won't bend the axle in because you can put a live axle in it now. Yeah. yeah. Both on. Um, you got a lot of trike guys out there. Shout out to Stanley Mount. Um, you got a lot, and uh, Montoya. Pretty sure he'll do one too. Yeah. Um, but trike, when you want to trike it, dude, you literally 
can take one of our go-kart kits and bolt it right to it. Oh. You don't bust nice. an arc. You don't do any welding. It's it's all bolt on. That's so, awesome. So, I mean, dude, it just, it just don't. We come out with his, the bike at his own bars, the actual drag bars. Yeah. Um, custom exhaust. Custom exhaust. has got his own pipe. Um, the new billet risers was yeah. kind of a result to this. Yeah. Um, cause we went from the two hole on the regular rascal risers to the one hole on these, okay. um, the drag bars, drag bars. Um, Ooh, man, that thing's crazy. The hubs. That's gonna be oh, the new billet hub. Oh, okay. they not out yet. Nuts. Well, like next week, week after next, know. maybe so Pretty soon. Okay. <laughs> Pretty soon. But a lot of people want to go, uh, with DWT wheel, which is the billet spun aluminum yeah. wheel. Um, and run it with a standard 12 millimeter, half inch, five eighth axle, right? But the problem lies in the past, it's only been a live axle okay. hub for that wheel. Well, now we're coming out with a set of hubs. Is actually what you're doing is taking that DWT wheel and creating that exact same spec as your Mega Moto 80 wheel, your Doodle Bug wheel, any six bow hole mini bike wheel. Yeah. You can turn a DWT super lightweight rim into that same. Yeah. So now you can take a DWT, bolt it directly to a Rascal, Little Rascal, Mega Moto 80, Rascal GT. That's awesome. Coleman 100s. Um, Mavericks. Mavericks. Um, uh, you name it, man. Anything with a six bolt pattern. And if you're a mini biker, you know that six bolt pattern hole. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's going to be, it's crazy, man. Okay. And though you probably losing just swapping over for that from your standard steel wheel setup to that billet setup, just guessing you losing a good five six pounds, which in our world that's that's a lot. That's yeah. a win. Yeah, you just I mean, won because you know a, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So just yeah, that, weight matters, man. That's gonna be crazy. Yeah, man. I also love your handlebar setup with the Alfano computers. Come on, man. In between the drag bars, come on, man. Clean. And something hit me one day. What I did was took the Alfano and a MB200 stock riser, just one. Um, that the the back of the Alfano has a stud in it that can screw into the back side of the riser, and the riser clamps to the bars. Money mm -hmm. seven eight. Paul seen it yesterday and was like, "Hey." When y'all come out with that? I was like, bro, you late. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Paul. I love, you. Doing this. I love yeah. you, bro. <laughs> they ain't doing this. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, that Alfano is crazy. Like yeah. coming from yeah. just a little cheap $40 tachometer to, a, difference in the world. to a tachometer that it reads literally everything digitally. Yeah. I can click, see live data, charts, graph, temperatures, RPM. So do you guys use most of the functionality on that in yeah. terms of like checking like temperature Pretty much or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Pretty much half of it. Yeah. That yeah. Alfano definitely. When I'm grabbing on there too. Yeah. 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 Preloaded. When I'm grabbing data, I'm going based off whatever the Alfano read. Yeah. Even if my time slip may say something from that, I'm grabbing my times from here. Yeah. But I'm grabbing my speed, my RPMs, and my heat. Everything is coming off. And I'm gonna tell you that Alfano do not lie. People gonna say, oh, it's GPS, it's GPS, it can't be accurate. Bro. I had my Alfano set to read speed. You know, you can set it to read RPM or speed. I had it accidentally set to read speed, and it was in the car with me. And I'm driving, and I didn't realize it was on until I took a glance back and seen it lit up. You know what I mean? And I go back and look at the speedometer, and it says 72 miles an hour. And you know I got a digital dash in my car. You speeding? 72 miles. Yeah. I was, it was, it was, I was in the 75 yeah. zone. Yeah. All right. School the speed limit was 75. Yeah. It was, <laughs> no, it was within the margin. I was in the slow lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was in the slow lane. <laughs> no, that's how about. <laughs> no, for real, Jack. It was a, it was a Texas 65. Yeah, yeah that ain't a move to Texas, and his favorite thing to say now is. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? What? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Exactly. That's, that's the same. <laughs> this guy. For real, Jack. <laughs> but yeah, no. I mean, the whole functionality yeah. in, of the Rascal GT is crazy. Because yeah. coming from a bike that's usually put together in less than an hour to a bike that really takes some time, thought, mm -hmm. creation, like really sitting back and imagining, yeah. what do I want this bike to do? How do I want it to look? Yeah. How am I going to do what I want it to do? I, re I remember seeing Taylor cut stuff off the prototype. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Nope. Thought of something better. 
mm. redoing it, and here we yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like Flacco said, it's so many functions to this bike that you can do, and just yeah. having it, especially at the price range, just like yo, come on, you man. cannot beat this yeah. at all. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, if you're if I mean if you're looking for a bike, if you're looking for a project to get ready for the GPS 660. Not the worst option, and we're no, gonna no, have no. a couple of kits coming out too that yeah. people can take advantage. Of. I mean, if you think yeah. about it, what I'm gonna look at the back and name all the functions. You can run three different type of axle setups, potentially four, because we run in half inch. Yeah. So that's four different axle yeah. types. Yeah. You can run a jack shaft, chain roller, yeah. move the pegs, torque converter, steering stabilizer, everything all in one. Yep. Yeah. A lot of people. That's unique. There's no other frame on the market that can do that. A lot of people pull their hair out when they want to go from clutch to a torque converter. Because that torque converter hang down. Yeah, but now... You boat right up, bro. Easy. Yeah, man. I Easy might. Boat. Just make me a 330 bike. I ain't doing it. You crazy. I might. Man, yeah, shout out to them 330 boys, you man. You should do it. I man, I, bro, that's some riding, no? man. I ain't that tired. I like man, speed, man. but... Torque, I like top end speed. Man, I gotta get a taste uh, of that. That torque is crazy. <laughs> that torque, nah, I ain't that I gotta person. get a taste of that, man. Flocko, flocko. So uh, that's a sixteenth of a mile? Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think. I, I failed out. Me nice. nice. too, bro. I was right with you. <laughs> I didn't even go. <laughs> Fair enough, man. <laughs> yeah, to go to class, don't be like this dude when grow up. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you're right. We will have kits because just the frame... That should be available by the end of February 2024. Yeah. We plan on having our Flacco Day Day drag bike kit to where it's going to have the billet wheels that we're waiting on. Yeah, man. And then we've also planned on having the cruiser kit, which yeah. is essentially what Taylor is building for the hand built show in April, yeah. which is super clean with the 10 inch five spoke wheels. Man. A really sweet looking bike with a new uni tank on there yeah. as well. We'll be able to see some some photos and videos yeah. of that. Well, and they've seen photos of it already. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Instagram and Facebook. And then we'll just have like a basics kit, kind of. Of like what we do with our rascal light if you just wanted the frame but you just wanted to get started riding yeah. you can get the basic kit and when you get a little more money and you want to get the 10 inch wheels and all that upgrade as you go this, this bike will grow with you yeah. you gotta have that plug money on to have some fun <laughs> you know yeah. Yeah. i like that <laughs> <laughs> knee slapper yeah, yeah. Ah, 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 ah. so ah. i mean I think we're good. I mean, uh, we didn't get to really talk about the uh, pull start picnic, but you know what, man? There's uh, so much going on with the GPS 660. I'm glad that we really got to in depth with it. Did I just hear Day Day and Flacco coming back on? Part two. two? There might be a part two. Have to. Yeah. yeah. Kind of have to, yeah. Just get a weekly update on you guys. Because of that. Yeah. When I first came out here for that event, yeah. me and Flacco knew about each other, but we didn't know each nah. other. Yeah. And I, I feel like people wanted us to beef. And now you guys literally work back to back. Oh, man. We eat dinner, <laughs> we so eat dinner together, bro. Yeah. I be at his house yeah. even with his family. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, man. This makes man. my heart really? happy. Yeah. I'm glad that you guys. My mama love Day Day. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. I be at his mama's house. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Also, shout out to your mom for cooking the other day. Though. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Mama, mama Flocka. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You did your thing, girl. They still <laughs> talking about you. Throwing down in the yeah. kitchen. You did that your bread. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, is she going to be catering the GPS 660? I see what I can do. Okay. I see what I can do. She can. Okay. Oh, my mom, no, though. She okay. She, she can. I know. <laughs> she, she, yeah. Y'all should have been there for Thanksgiving. Oh, oh damn. No, Next no, time. And that's another go. thing. Like, I'm spending holidays. Like, yeah. people got to understand, like, I took a huge risk just moving out here alone. Like no, I, under I, I understood that. Like, when I first moved out here, I didn't have no place to stay. I didn't have no game plan. It was just like, hey, if you want the job, hey, come get it. And I, I to me, I personally like challenges. I was like, yeah. look, I got to change. I got a life. I got a chance to change <laughs> my life. There we go. And I'm going to take it. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. opportunities like this do not come around You got to respect that. Yeah. They don't. And if they do... Hey, <laughs> you got a lucky person. That. But for me, where I come from, it's very hard to make it out. Nice. It's very hard. And see, we in the South, all we we here in California, we think Hollywood and celebrities and pretty skies and bro, it's 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 sticky situations everywhere you go, bro. For sure. Yeah. yeah. It's a tough place. So you gotta give it to this man, man. That's a big move. That's a big yeah. move. Yeah. Solo dolo at that. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of Compton, uh, Antio Antonio Portillo 
Portillo. Woody, the Woody, Ice Man. Fast Lane and BDS, uh, BDMS build will be there. Yeah, yeah. So if y'all don't, know, if y'all don't know Woody, Woody, um, bike is the one that went down that tempo and set that track record. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Uh-huh. That's that was the everybody. steel raw one. Yep. Nasty. So Woody getting a new frame made. I talked to Woody. He coming down and. He going for some records, and I believe he will set some records. Bro, we got a frame right here, bro. (laughs) If he's breaking records, I want it to be on a Rascal (laughs) GT. Straight up. (laughs) You can have mine back here. Shout out to Chris. He was just up here, and he's on the chat. Which one? Which Chris? Uh, Chris Jackson. Ah, Chris, Chris Jack- Jackson. Sorry, just- Chris Jackson. <laughs> Ooh, I got your wheel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to cut it on that note because I'm pretty sure that we're over. Only a little Day-day, bit. Day Day, Flacco, you guys are so awesome. Thank you for so thank you for taking on this event Man. and having it grow. Thank you for all your dedication, being there Thursdays and Fridays and just honing your craft. Thank you for being there for each other. That's what we do. Most definitely. And thank you for taking care of the customers, everyone. I get so much. I, I see so much fan mail about people just love to walk in and just hang out with you guys. So thank you for <laughs> making it a humble, homey place out there. I appreciate it. Thanks man. for building the community, too, yeah. guys. I mean, I will say, like like you were saying, I mean, Yellow Belly started off as like yeah, you bro. and Cole. <laughs> I, I expect for my son to have a career in mini bikes, some way, somehow. There you go. I expect man. for him to be rich. Yeah. At the same time. So, I mean, so, yeah. in order to get there. You're building it. It's on me and him right now. Yeah. There you go. Well, we appreciate you guys. If you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section. We're going to drop a bunch of links for the Rascal GT, for the GPS 660 race, for the pull start picnic, which is the day before this race. You need to make, make it out to this double feature. Uh, as always, I want you guys to like, subscribe, and ride on. Thank you, gents. Yeah. That's why y'all y'all are the best. Most of us. Oh, always, always. Oh, okay. Now we'll make it let's make it real awkward. Let's hey man, look. Like, big <laughs> My brother, I got you. Ah! <laughs> hey, we need to come oh, up with us some kind of shake like the NFL players. Awesome. Yeah. Shouts out to everybody that hopped on this live. Yeah. For real. Shout out to all y'all, man. Yeah, thank y'all, y'all for watching, man. Y'all number one. We appreciate everybody yeah. that's, you know, keeping in tune with us and loving what we're doing, supporting what we do, you know, purchasing our products, repping us, man. We truly support y'all. Yeah. After hours. So, man, what y'all think about Ferrari now and eh? the McLaren team? I'm mean, going home. I'm a mini bike racer. <laughs> Can we say championship? Dude, he's got to get his eighth with, with Ferrari. How dope would that be? I would.